In this video, I will show you how to use Pally for social media management. So Pally is a pretty new popular tool that is used to manage your social media accounts from Instagram to Facebook, to Twitter, Pinterest, TikTok, LinkedIn, and even Google My Business. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to use this. So make sure to watch until the end so that you don't miss any necessary information. Now here is a screenshot of kind of what it looks like and I'll show you how you can actually set this up. And they say easy to use, looks good, no BS. And this is what they do for you. They help you with scheduling, then analytics. They have a bio link tool, an inbox where you can simply see all of the messages you're getting across all of your social media accounts all in this one place, which is very helpful. And then you can manage the teams right here for your social media. So in order to get started, just go to pelly.com and click on try it for free. There is no credit card details required. So click try it for free. And here go to sign up by entering your email and password. Then next enter your name, choose a theme color and select your time zone. Then go ahead and click on continue. And now here what you want to go ahead and do is just connect all of the social media accounts right here that you actually use or that you want to manage. So for example, Instagram business or creator profile, you cannot have a personal profile. You want to make sure it's business or creator. Then your Facebook page, Twitter profile, LinkedIn personal profile or LinkedIn page, your Google My Business, your Pinterest profile and TikTok profile. So I'll just add a couple of these right now. Now next up, you can select your plan. So you can try premium for free for 14 days to unlock all features or continue with the limited free version. So again, you can select premium right here. Then you can choose the amount of social sets you have. So for example, if you have a social media management agency, then one social set is basically one business that you manage. So let's say you have three clients, then you want to set this to three. Now for this example, I'll just keep it to one. Now you can add in any extra users and you can see an extra user does cost quite a lot. So I recommend not adding too many people, but if you have set it to zero right here, then only you have access. If you add one, then you and one other person have access. Now you have the AI captions option. This will cost a little bit extra. So you can choose if you want this or not, or you can simply click on free and you will see what you get in free that you don't get in premium. So in free, you get scheduling 15 posts per month, analytics limited, media storage 200 MB instead of 10 gigabytes. You don't get video uploading or any of these other things right here. So I'll just go with premium for now to actually show you all of its features. However, you can also just get started for free right here. So in order to get started with premium, you can choose monthly or annually. With annually, you do save a little bit of money, but I'll just go with monthly. Then here, simply enter your credit card details and you will see due to today, $0. And only after 14 days, you will be first billed. So now my plan has been updated successfully and now I can click go to calendar. Now you can also follow along in the free plan, but you won't have access to everything you see right here. For example, the bio link tool will not be available. But now what you can simply do is here in the scheduling section where you will be taken first is you can click upload images and videos. So now you can simply go and upload from any of these right here, such as Canva, from Dropbox, Google Drive, whatever you want to do. I'll just upload something from my device. For example, I'll take this thumbnail right here and click open and then click upload one file. So now here in the media library, you will see that now I have this image uploaded. So now what you can go and do is in the top right, click on new and then click media post. And now here in your media library, you will see the image that I just uploaded. Now you can also simply go and upload it right here if you want, but I'll just select this media right here and click select one media. And now you will see this. Now currently I only have my Pinterest account connected, but if you have multiple accounts, you will see all of those right here. And you can simply click on the ones that you want to upload this post onto. Now if you want to unselect something, just go and click on it and then it will be unselected. So now here you will see what the post will look like. And for this one, I'm uploading it onto Pinterest. Now here you can add a description about your pin. So you can also use the AI captions right here. So click generate caption with AI. Then here you want to go and describe your caption idea, then what to do or not to do, the length of the caption and the amount of hashtags. Then once you click generate caption, there will be a caption generated right here. And then you can add a title for your pin, a destination link. This is not necessary, but you can add a link if you want. 
and then you can select a board to add it to. So for example, I've got this board on my Pinterest account called Kitchen, so I'll add it to that one. So now what you can go in and do is click Schedule right here, and now you will see it has been scheduled for the 19th right here, but you can simply drag it over into any day you want. For example, if I want it on the 21st here, and if you simply want to change the time and stuff like that, you can just click on it, then in the top right, it will say scheduled for, and you can click right there, and then just choose the date and the time that you want it to be scheduled for. For example, if I go with 12 a.m. right here, and then click schedule, it will now be on 12 a.m. on the 21st of May. So now we have scheduled this post. So now you can just do this more times. So click media post, but you can also click blank post. So then you won't have any media. So that's for example, for LinkedIn, where you only want to write text. That's also possible. Now, one more thing that they do offer is if I click media post, for example, and just go ahead and upload some more media. So let's do this thumbnail now. And then I'll select this one and click select one media. Now you can always select multiple ones if you want, but now you can click preview post right here. And then here you will see a preview of the post. Then here, if you click close, it will be gone. Then you can get some team comments and I'll show you how you can add in your team. Then once you click more options, you also have templates that you can check out right here. Now I haven't created any yet, so I'll also show you how you can create those. So for now I'll schedule this one for let's say the 23rd and just gonna click schedule again and then you'll see it will show up right there. Now that is the calendar. Now we already have gone over the media library where you can actually upload your media. Now here you have grid, so you can plan your Instagram feed to see how to look before posting. So if you click add grid, you can go and select a grid right here. For example, if I take these two and just drag them in here, then you will see kind of what it looks like right there. And then you can simply see the grid. <coughs> so that can be helpful to see upfront how everything will look and to kind of plan ahead. So you can simply move them around however you want. Then here you have your templates. So you can create custom templates to quickly add captions, hashtags, time or locations to your posts when scheduling. For example, if you always use the same hashtags, they can add those as a template. Now here in hashtags, you can create custom hashtag lists, which is kind of the same thing that I just went over. So you can add a list of 30 hashtags right there. Now in analytics, you will of course be able to see your analytics for Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So for example, if you go to Instagram, then click overview. Here you will see the amount of likes you've got on comments, engagement rate, the followers in a graph like this. And this could be really good if you're doing social media management for your clients, for example, to show to your clients the graphs since when you started and before how many likes you've gotten and stuff like that. Then in your inbox, this is basically a unified inbox where you will find messages from Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, wherever. Then you have assigned, so you can assign messages to anyone. Then you have your comments, messages, mentions, Instagram, Facebook, Google, TikTok, and archived. Now another nice feature is the bio links. So if you click link right here, you can actually create a bio link just like this one, where you basically have a link in bio that leads to multiple different links. So for example, if you have links to your other socials, and you can only add one link to your Instagram bio, but you want to link all your socials, they can do one of these links where you link to Pinterest, Facebook, TikTok, etc. Then in Explorer, you have your hashtags, so you can search for a hashtag to find similar hashtags and to basically find the best hashtags for you. Then in users, you can actually search for users on Instagram. Then you have the Instagram tag, so you can search your tagged posts to upload to your media library. And finally here in settings, you can actually connect a custom domain if you want to do that. So you can host your calendar from your own domain name. So that's really cool. So then it becomes kind of a white labeled software with your own domain. And in affiliates, you can simply go and invite people onto Pally. Now I'll also leave my Pally link down in the description. So if you do want to sign up through that link, I would really appreciate that. Now, if you did choose the option to actually add more team members, then you will also get the option to invite those team members. And then they will also show up right here. And if you select multiple social sets, then in the top left, then you will be able to switch in between different social sets. So now you know how to use Pally. If this video was helpful, please consider signing up to Pelly using the link down in the description, liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.